The next and last section is going to be setting up a REST API. Going through my documentation here, which is the second part, the first exercise, it says add a client secret and client ID. All right, cool. So as I showed you before, client secrets, all that stuff, all falls in the policy key section. Client secret and ID is username and password. We're using basic authentication here. Let me go ahead and add a GUMI manual. These components are strongly typed. I'm copying it from the docs here. Take note, it has a little small C, that's by design, case sensitive, make sure it looks exactly like that. And then that is my client ID, which is, all right, great, it creates. Now my client ID, so this is the username and equivalent for basic authentication. Uh, now I need to go ahead and create a client secret. Again, this is for my REST API doing basic authentication. Now naturally, if you wanted to, you can upload a certificate. We support doing certificate-based authentication. We also support doing no authentication, which is kind of like how I recommend if you're configuring a, a REST API for the first time, you know, set it up with no authentication, get it to work, make sure the communication correctly, and then add in your authentication layer. But I've already validated this work, so we're good on that. I'm gonna copy the name of, name of the secret. I wanna manually configure this. I'm going to copy the secret here. We'll go ahead and hit create on that. Now you see it's populated, we're good, we're good on that. Uh, now we've created our keys, we need to go ahead and add those components within our XML, and then we upload it, and we're done.